Welcome to Weapon Locker, the miniseries on Trans Studios where we take a look at some of your favorite Transformers weapons and evaluate them. Today's episode is on Bumbley Shoulder Mounted Missiles, and thank you to CNA Productions, Sandformers 2005, and the Game Squad for making this video possible. So if you're unfamiliar with Bumbley Shoulder Mounted Missiles, here's a brief history on them. They originated from the concept art stages for weapons that Bumbley would use in the first Transformers film, and in this concept art we can see the very first image of what these shoulder cannons would look like. But there are two elements from them that would actually not go into the film. First of which, in the concept art, the shoulder missiles have a hollow bit at the top, while in the film, that hollow bit is filled in. And second, is the doors. As you can see, the doors in the concept are flipped over the missiles, but in the film, that never happened. Now let's discuss what these weapons were used for. They were used to take down the mighty Decepticon Brawl, who seemed to be unstoppable, no matter how many shots are shot at him. But with this nifty weapon of Bumblebee's and his arm cannon, he overpowered Brawl. And after the first movie, Bumblebee's shoulder cannons were never seen again. Well, you may be surprised that this allegation is false, because Bumblebee actually used it in the factory battle, believe it or not, for just a few frames in the background. But after the factory scene, they were never seen ever again in the movie verse. So this begs the question, where do they go? Well, the answer to what happened to them is simple. In the last shot where we can see the shoulder cannons, Starscream launches a missile at B, and that's what I think the explosion came from in this frame. And I believe off screen, this explosion caused Bumby to fall backwards and hit the ground really hard. And once he hit the ground, his missile launchers broke off. And seeing that his shoulder cannons were unrepairable and the fact that Starscream was about to overpower him, Bumby booked out the factory, where he would later take Leo and Michaela to save and this adds up because we can later see Starscream try to help out Megatron. So probably when Starscream saw Bumblebee bail, he then went over to Megatron to help him try to take down Optimus Prime. But fun fact, Bumblebee was going to have these cannons again in Transformers Age of Extinction in this CGI model. Which begs the question, why were they not used? Well, I think the reason why they weren't used was because when Bumblebee is in his 1970s Chimera look, he was never used in a fight scene. Which would make no sense to give Bumblebee these cannons in the first place. And once he would take on his new concept Chimera look, there would be no need for them either because he would have taken on a completely new ability set, which would not include those shoulder cannons. Well, that's all for this episode of Weapon Locker. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to join the Theorist Nation. Also, if you have a weapon that you would want me to cover, don't forget to comment down below and I'll do a video on that weapon pretty soon. As always, this has been Trans Series saying, keep on theorizing. Well, you